Hey guys, it's Cam. So in this week's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my first week of clinicals in second semester. So this footage right here is from the night before my first day. And basically I just prepped some lobster ravioli that I got from Costco. And I added some spinach for greens and tomato sauce with a pinch of sugar. Um, just because my mom told me to do that, I don't really know why. Um, I don't really see a difference, but I like to do it anyway because it makes me feel like I'm in Ratatouille and it makes me feel like I'm a chef. So yeah, that's why I do it. And I also like to prep my coffee the night before, especially when I know the next day is going to be really busy and hectic for me. And also because I really like iced coffee, so this makes it really easy for me. Um, but I know some people are kind of picky about like fresh coffee, but for me, I don't really see a difference, so... So Thursday was my first day of in-person clinical. I was on the PACU unit and it takes me so long to get out of bed and i just could not do it i think i set alarms from like 4 50 to like 6 in the morning because i had to meet with my faculty at 6 30. so that's me getting up at 5 30. it was just a long day and here's my morning routine moment i am washing my face just trying to wake up So it's really hard for me to eat breakfast, so I try to do something really light because if I eat breakfast too early in the morning, I get really nauseous. So I'm making an everything bagel with some pecan cream cheese on top. And for clinicals, we're required to put our hair up in a bun. And that's what I'm doing right here. It's kind of frustrating because whenever I need to have a bun, my bun looks so ugly. But whenever like I'm just chilling, it's the perfect bun. And here is me poking my eye while putting mascara. So around, I think I left my place around 6 because I live really close to the hospital where I'm at so it's really quite easy for me. So this is me walking to the hospital. Sometimes it gives me like the creeps when it's really dark outside and it's really quiet and lonely but usually where I park there's like other students around me so I feel just a little bit safer. And this is my lunch. As you can see, I believe I ate lunch around like 12. No, I ate lunch around like 1 p.m. I don't remember. But yeah, this is during my lunch break. Would not be filming while I'm actually having to do something. And this is me after. So I was on the PACU unit and that is called the post anesthesia care unit. And honestly, I didn't know what to expect i felt like it was going to be a chill day just because it's like post-op and like anesthesia and all that but i felt like i really learned a lot from the nurses i met there and i felt the information i learned was really valuable so yeah here's me walking home and here's me walking up the stairs home and i was just so out of it i was so hungry so i finished the rest of my lunch and it was just really chill after that. And I suddenly had a spark to go work out. Usually it's because like I'm really stressed or I just like have a pump to like move, you know? So I took some pre and I went to the gym. So I don't know if anyone else feels like this, but whenever I'm really stressed or I just feel really overwhelmed, I like to work out, but like um, specifically running 
I don't know why, I guess it's like the cardio and bringing up my heart rate. I really like how my camera decided to move right here. Kind of makes me feel like I'm in one of those intros to an anime. You know what I mean? It's okay if you don't. So after the gym, I went home and I took a shower and I FaceTimed my friends and we all just recapped each other on our day and spread around all of the serotonin and coincidentally my roommate Erica had her night shift clinical that day so I had Shamu all to myself he is very cute but still a menace to society nonetheless So Friday was my virtual clinical day and I woke up around 6 a.m. because I had to hop on teams at 7 but my bed was so comfy and my apartment was really cold this morning so I stayed in for a little bit. Just a little bit, I promise. And here's me making my bed. <laughs> Shamu is so funny. But yeah, Shamu slept in as well. So then I got onto my laptop around like 6.50 and I like to look in photo booths to see what I look like before I actually hop on Teams or Zoom or whatever and yeah, here she moved just looking at me in the background is so funny looking but yeah, it was a long day I got on around 7 and I got off around like 5, 6 p.m. Ugh, I don't like it I personally, virtual clinical is not my favorite I'd rather do in person I felt like I was, I got more tired from virtual than in person, I guess because I'm sitting for a long period of time and I just found it really annoying personally. Then I rewarded myself with this piece of chocolate for sitting in clinicals for literally half of the day so far and it was just really frustrating. It was just a frustrating and long day. I don't know why it was so hard for me. I guess I work better in person. I don't know. I mean, I feel like I still learned a lot from virtual and simulations and whatnot, but I think just like pressing buttons and whatever is just it's annoying to me, I don't know why, but yeah. Um, during my break, I made some salmon, and you guys have been asking me the recipe I use. I use paprika, um, I add a little bit of garlic powder, and I add some lemon pepper. That was a lot actually, but and I soak everything in some olive oil, and I put it in my air fryer for um, 370 degrees for seven to eight minutes and i literally learned this recipe last week and it's so good and i've just been making it non-stop because it's super quick and easy and while that's happening i wash the dishes i clean um catch up on social media um and rest basically and yeah so after lunch i went back to my desk and i finished 
my clinical day. I ended around like 5 p.m. And then I worked on clinical paperwork the next two days because it was due on Sunday. So yeah. Um, thank you so much for watching if you watched this far. I'm literally just doing this voiceover laying in my bed because I have a huge headache and I have a toothache and I'm just really annoyed. Um, but happy vibes. Happy positive, happy positive vibes. But yeah, thanks again for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments about clinicals or life or anything, you could DM me on my Instagram or you can leave a comment down below. Um, thank you so much for watching. Bye!